Hey guys, I'm Kirk. Welcome to Summer in Mara. This is an adventure game with some farming simulation mixed in and it has a very, very strong narrative. It's very story rich and it's kind of remin reminiscent of games like Stardew Valley and that weird Switch games with those weird animals that everybody's been playing for the last couple of months and complaining about the price of peaches or something weird like that. I don't know. Don't ask me about games like that, because they are not really my jam, but I do understand that people really get with this. I played Stardew Valley, I tried it, it was my thing, but I do understand and appreciate a lot of people have a love for games like that, and I wanted to explore Summer in Mara just to see if this one will jam with me more. Now, I really did want to showcase this game, because it does have a very strong narrative, you know, something that people could even learn from it and since the devs offered me the game i said you know what let's give it a try and let's see how it goes now it released yesterday on steam and it's developed and published by chibik i don't know if that's how it pronounced developers but i'm sorry if i did it wrong but let's give it a try well, let's get in here and i'll explain more as we go Touching start, for sure. And here we are. We are playing as this little kid. I am not sure if we are a girl or a boy, but uh, that does not really matter over here. We are the king of this tiny island, or the queen in that case, and there's our little auntie or something like that. And what the goal here is, well, you can see, you already, already can see the farm plots, you could plant stuff over here, you have animals, you can take care of those. And, you know, you get to see the idea where I said that it's kind of reminiscent to Stardew Valley and uh, stuff like that. So let's talk to the lady. Were you on the roof again? Of course not. Yeah, yeah. I just saw you coming down. Isn't there work to do? On the island, there's always work to do. We need oranges to make juice for breakfast. I'm too old to get them by myself. Or just for the lady coming right up. Let's get three of them. Now... If I understand this correctly, then in time you do get to go and explore other islands and see what it is all about. So you get to explore a much bigger world than just uh, this couple of uh, pieces of whatever this island is. It's, it's not a big island. You can see there's the beach, there's the mountain, there's the house. That's, that's pretty much what there is over here. So, And there's the oranges for the lady. I'm sure if, that if I plant some chocolate, I'll, it will grow more chocolate. That's a great idea. You should probably try doing that. Here you go. You have the most beautiful oranges in the island. Thank you very much. Mm, the, juice, the juice is delicious. I feel energized. I'm glad to hear that. So it kind of the game kind of tells you, you know, if you drink juice and you eat food, it will get your stamina back as you do chores through the day. And uh, it's going to, uh, you know, get you down. You can win anyone's heart with food. Now we have to prepare a new crop field. Okay, I'll watch how you do it from here. I don't know, you're clearly a young adult. You can do it yourself, pick up a hole and prepare the field. Be able to plant these carrot seeds and then water them. And you'll have to shower if you're muddy, yes. So, I gave her oranges, she gave me stuff and we get new recipes, new tools and new quests. So, let's uh, equip our hoe and let's go prepare the field. Smack it a bit around and let's plant some carrot seeds. Beautiful. Okay, well planted. Now we need to get water. Well, and let's run. This is the best part. You just run over here and you do it like this. Feel looks so good after showing. Okay, hey, uh, little little thingy, I will, I will feed you. Om nom nom nom. Feed the animals to get a special item. The more animals you have, the more items you get. Are you gonna give me a special items or is love your special item? Because if love is your special item, well, that's enough for me. Animals love is very important. Everything is ready, ma'am. Right. Now we need to collect some firewood, but I lost my old axe. We'll have to make a new one. Can I do it? Sure. Why not? All you need is a stone, a bit of wood. Great, I'll have my very own axe. We'll see. Here, take these materials to go inside the house and build it. We'll meet afterwards beside the old tree. Okay. So we now get to make an axe. You know, this this kid is going to go and make an axe because you just use uh, one stone and you get this, this, this thing. 
That's pretty freaking impressive, I gotta admit, you know? Very careful, it's very sharp, yes. Let's run! The interesting thing about this is when you sprint, you can jump hella high. <laughs> or, you know, even if you not sprint. And you can also jump on the piggy. Hey piggy. Let's go. Eat the carrot. Hope you liked it. Okay. Yeah, look at the sex. Good, now we have to cut down the tree. I feel sorry for it. I feel sorry for it too, you know? We take from nature, we must give back. We live in our... So, see? This is what I'm saying. That people could, le uh, could learn from this uh, narrative, you know? Life lost through this big ocean surrounding us. If we take advantage of nature, it's our duty to compensate for the things we took. And you know what? I completely agree. We are part of the cycle. None of the things you see are yours. Mara lend them to us. I like it. Should I cut down the tree now? What do we say? Thank you, tree. Take a seed. When you're finished cutting down the tree, go plant the seed somewhere on the island. That's an equal exchange. Yes. Well, almost. Almost. I'm pretty sure the tree would disagree, but hey. That's fine. We are human beings, so, you know, we decide what is right, apparently. Piggy, you wanna you wanna follow me? I already fed you, okay. Oh, I don't have any more food. Uh, I'll get you some carrots, dude. Let's go plant... Uh, we need to plant the seed. Where are we gonna plant it? We have a pine nut. Find flatter terrain. Uh, this is not really flat. But how was it growing earlier? Okay, we can plant it over here. Ka-ching. Nice. Okay, Piggy, let's go get some food for you, dude. I cannot watch you be so hungry. I'm sure there's some stuff. Let's grab some... Uh, I think this is cabbages, probably. And he wanted carrots. This little thingy wanted carrots as well, maybe. Let's go harvest everything. And later on, we'll be able to plant this. We'll make this our own. And uh, I don't think we have any seeds, now. You. Oh, you want to eat? Oh, I don't have any proper food for you, tiny little thing. You wanted uh, corn, I think. Sorry, I don't have any corn. Just got carrots. Hey, hey, hey. Don't eat that pine nut. Eat that. There you go. Is he growing? Did you just grow? He might have grown. My little pig is growing. This is beautiful. Yes, love me. Ah. Uh, I like it. I like it very much. Hello, I have planted the nut. I hope it grows very tall. If you take good care of it, I'm sure it will become gigantic. I'll water it every day, Yaya. All right, Koa. Do you want to learn a new recipe? We'll make orange jam. It's a very easy recipe. Go to the kitchen at home, prepare some. Okay. We've got some sugar. Orange jam. We probably need oranges for that. Uh, let's take a look. That's our inventory. Uh, orange jam. Yeah, we need three oranges, one sugar, and we can make stuff. Piggy, do you want more food? He wants more food. He grow! He's growing! What a beautiful day! My little piggy is growing. I'm not gonna feed you oranges though, I'm sorry. Those are for the jam. <gasps> There's his brother! Hey dude. No on that. Yeah. If you eat a lot of that, it'll grow big. And then you'll have little piggies of your own. And we're all gonna be proud. You'll see. Just you wait. Alright, uh, kitchen, orange jam. Let's go, make it. Beautiful. This damn is delicious. Gonna bring Yaya some of it. Let's go. Hey, you little thingy. So, Yaya, where are you at? Oh, she's down there. She's fishing. Yaya, you're fishing. What up? Oh, there's fishies in here. Hello, fishies. I'm totally not gonna scare your fishies, Yaya. Probably not. <laughs> Try the jam. Oh, are we going to have fish for dinner? It depends on whether or not they take the bait. We will see. What about cooking yummy fish? Listen to the recipe, Coco. You'll need to fresh, uh, fresh red tail catfish, and you chop some carrots. Why do parrots never come here? And then we add, hey, yeah, yeah. Why do parrots never come here? What? We're paying attention to me. You see them from the mountain. They're always far away and never come here. Maybe because there's nothing they are interested in. It's a tiny island. But we have the door and the fountain. Neo and now. The island is very beautiful. That's true. But we're not taking care of it for others. We take care of the islands because it's important to maintain it. Although I sometimes leave, I always come back. Because of you and our house. And even when I'm gone, I never stop thinking about the island. Or our home reflects what we think of ourselves. We have to love ourselves, right? Right. Well, 
What are we talking about? About dinner. Yes, that, but what was I saying? Well, never mind. It's getting late, Koa. I need fuel for the boat. Fill the tank and bring it to the dock. Of course, Lady Haku. Old tank. And we got a new recipe. Collect fuel from the Guardian's Door Fountain. Let's go. I happen to know where the Guardian's Door Fountain is. So we'll do that. There's this cave. We can go and mine stuff later on. Get that. There's stone and there is iron, but you need a hammer for that. We don't have a hammer. There used to be bats in this cave, but there are none left. Well, I mean, it's such a small cave. I know. So this is the guardian door. I believe it's important to the whole story. And we're gonna get the old <laughs> tank filled up with this magical fountain stuff over here. Don't ask me what exactly it is, but it, it's a thing and stuff. And you know what? That's that's kind of cool. Shall we go around? Just an uh, adventure. You see, there's more uh, stuff down there that we could collect. And later on, we will collect because uh, this is we're still kind of in the tutorial-ish phase that we're playing through right now. And uh, the lady went on her boat because she's going off on an adventure and she's letting us be home. Hey, God, got your stuff. Have a safe journey. Remember what I asked you for. What did you ask for? Chocolate! If you want to stay, I can take the boat and buy it. A few years, maybe you can visit the city with me. The sea is very dangerous. You should never sail alone. And what about you? Actually, it's okay. I'll let you sail alone. Goodbye! Take care! Hey! Me too! Me too! Oh, whatever. Okay. I'm going to surprise you by preparing dinner. I'll try the yummy fish recipe. Let's see. First, I need to catch red-tailed catfish in the pond. Took her fishing rod with her. I'm going to make one for myself at the workshop. I just need some materials. All right. So we need to make a thingy. Let's see. We're going to need a resin float, I believe. And we already have the wood. I think. Well, we'll see. Hey, seagull. Steven. We'll name this seagull Steven. Okay. Okay. We'll see what Steven does. I think we have enough wood, at least. If not, we can chop down our tree. Although, they don't appear to be dropping seeds. So, it's going to be hard to replant them. Right, we do need... Resin float first. We need a floater. And then, yeah, we do have enough. Let's make a fishing rod. Uh, fishing rod. Time to go to the pond of fish. What was in that recipe? Fish, some carrots. I didn't listen to the rest of it. Never mind, it will work with us. Okay, I hope I didn't feed all of the carrots to <laughs> animals. Do we have carrots? Yeah, we still have them. Okay, that's good. I made a lot of fishing rods when I was a kid. Fishing was a big thing for me. Yeah, me and a couple of my friends. Let's take the bait. That's, that's pretty much all we did. Fishing, okay. Press A, and now we have to follow the fish. Don't let it go. And we got a red-tailed catfish. Easy money. Okay, we got the carrots. We got the fish. So let's go cook. Fish and carrots. I don't know if that's like the greatest combo. But you know what? Sure. Why not? Yummy fish. Make a yummy fish. Um, nom, 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 nom. Delicious. This doesn't look right. I hope it's still edible. <laughs> Oh no. If it gets too dark, yeah, I won't be able to get back. I must light the fire atop the mountain so that I can guide her. Just need a torch. That's easy. Yeah, I taught me how to make them. Think some wood should be enough. Okay. Uh, do we have enough wood to make a torch? We have no materials, so we'll definitely need wood. So let's go chop down a tree. Maybe this one over here. Sorry, tree. And we thank you. That's what... Uh, she taught us. We have to thank the tree that we chop. Let's hope we have enough now. Torch, yes. Make that torch. Well, I already have a torch. I must be careful. Fire is dangerous. Ah, it's getting dark. Now it's time to light a fire at the mountain. Good thing I remembered. Well, aren't you responsible, Koa? Yes, aren't you a responsible Koa? Okay, we don't have the torch yet to grab, but it's fine. We will go and get the torch over yonder. And we'll light it up, and then we sprint to the top of the mountain, and we light the fire. Woo! You can see really fast, yes. You can see it's dying down slowly. So, we kind of have to be fast enough to do this. You can also light some of these torches along the path, and 
you should be fine. But I'm sure we are fast enough, aren't we? <laughs> I think I can see Yaya from here. I'm glad she arrived safe and sound. Hope she brought my chocolate. Well, probably she didn't, you know. But she brought you some something else, I'm sure. If nothing else, she brought with her her love for you, little kid. And you really have to appreciate that. You probably don't because you're still a kid, but you know, when you grow older, you will realize that that's one of the most important things in your life. Love. Let's talk. Yeah, did you bring back chocolate? I forgot. Is that funny? Yeah, that's not funny. If I knew that, I wouldn't have cooked dinner. Did you cook dinner? Yes, that fish recipe you like so much. It's not very good. I wasn't inspired. It's okay. Sorry, Yaya. Don't worry, Koa. This was your first time. It's normal. Talent has to be nurtured. Practice is what matters. See? More lessons. I like her. And not being afraid of failing and being wrong. Make dinner tomorrow and the day after and every day after that. Until you get it right. Don't run away from your mistakes. Next time will be better. That's it. Come to the guardian's door. Why? I want to tell you something. But first, take this key and get to the crystalless spear I keep in my chest. Crystalless, yes. Your chest, yes. You never let me look inside your chest. Today is different. We'll meet at the door. You got a key. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I got your key. I'm getting your door. Also, I don't know why we are emitting some light. But you can see we are. Maybe that necklace that we are carrying. Maybe. Oh, he's sleeping. That little boy. They're all sleeping. Ah. How nice. It also slightly reminds me of Slime Rancher. Here's the crystalis. That's chest full of trinkets of mine and lots of letters and papers. Haiku keeps everything, but not a single treasure. I'm going to bring Yaya the crystalis. Yes. Let's go to the guardian door. We already know where it is. It looks weird. The cluckers are cluckering. And I'm still impressed at how high this girl can jump. Like she should be like an Olympic athlete for high jump. I'm pretty freaking sure she would uh, set a world record and Olympic record like in no time. Like she's got talent. What did you want to tell me, Aya? Do you remember the story about the guardians? Yes. They protected the sea and the door. That's it. Whenever there was any danger, they met here and opened the door with the four crystals. Will the door open at some point? Only when Mara is truly threatened. It will open when the four crystals are placed here, which they are, apparently. If there were four keys. I wish I could see what's inside. It's not time for that. What happened to the Guardians? They disappeared little by little. Very few people understood their work. It is sad. In my opinion, the w this world runs on the cooperation between people. Can you see the spiral on the door? Although they seem to be separated dots, everything is connected by the spiral. The Wind of Mara. It is true. Like when you ask me stuff and I help you. Yes. Even though you're always grumbling. Well, I wouldn't rather do nothing. Don't you like lying in the grass? Of course. Who doesn't? But being responsible is very important. More lessons. I appreciate the old lady. When all those dots disappear, everything collapses. Koa, you must help others. Always. By bringing them something they need. Or planting a seed. Every action, as small as they may seem, can be beneficial to others. Do you have to help everyone? Even if they are mean? There are mean people that are lost and need help. But there are other people that are truly mean. How will I tell the difference? You'll know by looking them in the eye. Invite them out to eat. You say that a lot, Yaya. You have to win their hearts with food. That's it, Koa. Don't forget it. Time to go to bed. Already? The day passed by so quickly. Good night, little guardian. Good night, Yaya Haku. Go back home and sleep. And I think that would then be the end of this kind of tutorial-ish uh, story mode. And then you, then you get to go a bit on your own. And we'll experience a bit of that as well. Because uh, why not? It is, it is fun. Running around and being this little girl and planting seeds and all that stuff. Let's go to sleep. And let's see what tomorrow brings.
gotta admit, it's a very colorful and uplifting uh, cinematic right there. Like it makes you, makes you feel like you're, it's summertime, and you know, you're at the seaside and adventure awaits. I like it. They did it well. They really did well. Ah, nothing. Not a single pirate ship inside. She seems to be older. Now I'm starving to death. I'm going to make berry juice for breakfast. Hope they are ready for harvest. Pick some berries. Here we go. She at least have a different shirt, but it does. She, it does seem she's a bit older. You can see we have time on the top right now. We have our stamina and potentially HP on the left. I'm not quite sure. But let's go get some berries. And uh, let's grab them. You know, you just kick a bush and you're good. I think we need three. Um, I have enough. There we go. Um, I think I remember the recipe Yaya taught me. You just need to mash these berries and that's it. Blackberry juice. We'll do it. Also, I don't know exactly what happened. But there's Yaya's boat. And that thing is crashed. So I guess those pirates did something. And I don't think Yaya is anywhere to be seen. So, we have a mystery on our hands. Because the little girl seems to be alone. Let's make the blackberry juice. So you can see we are slowly getting recipes. Again, kind of like Stardew Valley and stuff. It's tasty, but I've only been eating wild fruits. Should plant the fields or take a nap. No, wait. I must prepare the fields. And plant. And harvest. Oh, work is exhausting. Okay, we got three carrot seeds. That's really nice. We got a new recipe. Grilled fish. Two fields. Okay, you just want me to prepare two fields. I would like to do three fields since you, you know you you gave me three recipes. I wouldn't mind doing triple. Plant, plant the carrots. Good. We're gonna need to water them as well. You gotta remember that. Water thy seeds. You know. Didn't water the fields. Shame on you. Should build a new well, but I wouldn't need a hammer to do it. Maybe I can gather the materials if I destroy the old ruined well with the axe. I don't remember where I put my last hammer, but I can make a new one. So we'll need to make a new one. Now, can I... Oh, I need a better hoe to clean this one up. And we need a better hammer to break this. But we can probably plant over here the, the last uh, carrot we have. Yeah, there you go. Let's plant some more. There you go. We got more plant, uh, carrot seeds planted. Now we need uh, our axe to destroy the well that apparently collapsed for some reason. I think we got enough resources. Let's see, do we have enough resources to make a hammer? Yes, we do. Okay, so we can go make a hammer. Let's make that bad boy. And then we're gonna need to make a well. It will be used for building a smashing stones to collect materials, but need something else. Oh no, I know, a bucket. I have to make a bucket for the new well, it will get her more materials. Okay, we got a new structure. Rustic fans, chicken coop, rope, and all kinds of good stuff. Okay, so now we have a hammer. You can see, we can build with it. Rustic fence, chicken coop. We need nails for that. We don't know about nails yet. Uh, let's see, we have three wood right now. Is that enough for a bucket? Okay, we can make a bucket. So let's go make a bucket. Because we need that one. Thank you. After making a bucket, what was it the I said? Well, it's a very simple thing. A hole in the ground, wood and stone. Okay. Um. We need to break stones and cut trees. And now we can build a well. And well is... So we need two more stones and we need seven more wood. Alright, so chopping trees it is. And then we're gonna need a couple more stones. Which we can get in the caves. Or I wonder, maybe we can clear out some of this. Let's see, can I clear out? Um. Okay, I need a better hammer for this. This one apparently isn't good enough. It's kind of disappointing, but hey, you know. That's fine. Hopefully these trees will be enough. Can I break you? No. You're probably too mm. strong as well. How about you? Um. Yeah, everybody needs a better hammer. Okay. Let's go onwards to glory then. Maybe chop down another tree, but not the orange trees. That would be uh, a waste. How about one more over here? One more big old tree. That's going to give us some extra wood. Thank you. And those things. Okay. Now switch to hammer and let's break some stones. There you go. That was the... Oh, I think we got some... Is that copper? That might have been copper. And we got some extra metals in there. You see that? Nice. Okay, I think we have all the resources we need. You can see our stamina dropping. So we'll need to drink that berry juice soon. That's not a problem. You know, we can enjoy our berry juice. 
that's fine. So, apparently, as you play, you can go and visit other islands and explore and all that stuff. I'm guessing the, the same boat that uh, the old lady had. Oh, I don't have enough wood. Why don't you say so? Well, I guess we'll... Hey, is there wood, extra wood over here? No. So we have to cut down another tree. It's fine. That's okay. There you go. Let's, uh... Let's consume our blackberry juice. Look at that. Nom nom nom. We got our stamina or whatever that was. Okay, let's build our well. There you go. Obstacles. Let's uh we can rotate it by U and O. That's kinda weird, but sure, let's put it here. Thank you, mountain. Thank you, tree. I hope you like this well I made. Now let's water everything. It's my favorite part. Well, let's do it. Water! Water everywhere! It's a lot of worth. work. I wish I could visit them, but the fountain provides no fuel now and the boat is still broken. Never mind, I'll go to the beach and collect the seashells gifted to me by the tides of Mara. We'll do that, but we haven't watered stuff yet. We need to water the stuff. Get watered. Okay, you seem to be watered. Let's water you. You're fully watered. Good. Are you all fully watered? They're all fully watered. Perfect! Okay, let's go grab the seashells gifted to us by Mara. I would like to jump down, thank you. There's Steven. Oh, there's multiple Stevens. Oh, Steven, how are you doing this day? And we got... It's like a prawn or something like that. It's nice. What else do we have here? I see a seashell there. I see a seashell. Ha! All mine. It doesn't appear that you can dive, but she does have good swimming technique, I gotta admit. No need to come up for air, even. Okay, another seashell. Let's pop this one. This is nothing. It's fine. And... Okay. Nothing. Another seashell. <laughs> This is very beautiful. Perfect for decoration. Yeah, I love them. What an exhausting day. My seagulls could have at least helped me. Yes, Stevens. You're all lazy. Uh, told me how she used to go collecting shells with a friend of hers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we fish over here? We need bait. How do you get bait? That's a good question. Oh, look, there's another seashell. And some cacti. Kind of cool. Uh, let's figure out how we get bait. I want to kind of try fishing over here. That wouldn't be the worst, right? Can we go up here? Probably not. Like, she jumps. She really does jump, but... Can we do Skyrim platforming? That's a very good question. Also, what happened to the... To the ship? To the boat? It must have been the, the pirates. And where's old lady? Oh, man. So ruined. Do we have bait over here? We do have bait over here. Okay, I want to try uh, fishing over there. Let's see if we can find, or let's see if we can fish, a uh, sea fish. Sea fish? Uh, ocean fish? You know, fish from the big water. From the big blue beyond. Let's try doing that. Go fishing. So, A. Okay. Keep the fish in here. Flat fish. Okay. Nice. I think we need it. Okay, so you can fish, like three things over here, huh? Okay, sure. More flat fish. These are easy to catch, like really easy to catch. I wonder how long the bait lasts. Apparently we still have the bait for it. Oh, that was I was way too too fast on this one. Oh, I was I was stupid. That was stupid. Oh, it's look it's 6 p.m. already. Hmm, it's getting late in the day. I want to check if you have the recipe for any of this fish. I think we did, didn't we? Uh, grilled fish. Yeah. Yeah. We can make one of those. Let's go make some grilled fish. I wouldn't mind that. Grilled fish sounds way better than fish with carrots, to be honest. Although, I gotta admit, all of these... Uh, like, fruit juices and such that she's got going over here, they're pretty delicious. Let's uh, make some grilled fish. Nom, 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 nom. Nice. Okay. Uh, what's in our inventory now? We have grilled fish. This is two apples. This is half an apple. Whatever that means. That's, you know, what it is. 
And we don't have the key for this. Fair enough. Shall we go look if uh, Yaya is around? Also, the chicken coop is... Yeah, they learned to fly apparently. There's no animals. Where's my piggies and all that stuff? Did they... Did the pirates steal the piggies? I'd be very mad if that was the case. Those are my piggies. I shudder at the thought of what could have happened to them. And all of these four are now missing. So the pirates came to get them, huh? Ooh. I need a better hoe. Well, you're a better hoe. So something bad has definitely happened out here, but we don't quite know what. Because that dream of hers didn't really tell us much. Hmm. That's a good question. Anyway. I uh, will finish the episode and preview over here. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, these are not really my type of games that I usually play, but I do see the the potential, you know, of, of learning some good values from uh, from this whole game, because uh, the old lady had some really good uh, thoughts on how things should work out, and I appreciate her. I do. I really do. Now let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you already grabbed the game. Let me know if you plan on grabbing it and, you know, just go wishlist uh, it on Steam. And I'm sure the devs will very much appreciate that as well. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. For now, Kirk her out.